Uh, uh, do you know anything about the uh, the balloons that were flying across America? What were they trying to do with those? Yeah, absolutely. The, the spy balloons, you know, the Chinese Communist Party mastered making and use of spy balloons a long time ago. It was very easy and cheap for the Chinese Communist Party to send over all of the balloons, you know, into every corner of the world. In fact, that if you wondered where are the bases, uh, you know, for the CCP to actually launching and sending over the balloons, I will tell you, in, uh, you know, in Venezuela, uh, in South America, and, and you know, e even in Beijing and in Xinjiang, they were able to, you know, establish and launching the spy balloons to, you know, every single corner of the world at any time. And it's a very cheap strategy for the Chinese uh, Communist Party's military. Uh, I see a lot of, uh, I guess, Chinese people buying up a lot of farmland. Are they trying to uh, grow some crops or are they trying to just uh, be close to army bases? Well, I think uh, it, it really depends on the locations, right? Lots of the land uh, acquisition or the land purchase was actually very close to the military bases of the United States. And um, if you think about the poor military airports and uh, and poor, you know, Navy shores, uh, lots of time the CCP's proxies and agents, or you know, some uh, so-called Chinese American business persons who actually had a very deep connection with China, uh, they were trying to, you know, they were planning to purchase or or making very high um, listings. Uh, to purchase, um, you know, these lands and all of these, you know, acquisitions of lands and purchases could be tied to restrict, you know, military purposes uh, behind the scenes.